because the Knicks win juxtaposed with the Thunder loss add up to an early season indictment on Carmelo Anthony. It sure doesn't help Carmelo Anthony's reputation because there are a lot of people who already labeled him as not a winning player or weren't a fan of his style of ball. And of course, they would point to the, the last few seasons of Knicks futility as part of that evidence. Carmelo also hasn't had a very good season, so it's a rough start for him. You also have to delve into some of the other factors, though. Paul George went to Oklahoma City as well, and the Pacers have a better record than the Thunder. Meanwhile, the Knicks subtracted Derrick Rose, and Porzingis is, is getting the bulk of those touches. His usage rate is all the way up in the, the 30s right now. So there are a number of factors at play, but we know how this game works. And unless the Thunder get to the level that they were supposed to be at, Carmelo Anthony is definitely going to be the, the talk of a lot of these sort of conversations, whether or not his style of play would ever lead to wins and whether or not he's passed his prime anyway. Well, I think you touched on it there. A lot of things, but one is about expectations, really. And the expectations were now zero for the New York Knicks. I think after Carmelo left, people are just hoping for maybe a good season and then see if they could attract another free agent perhaps to come play with uh, Perzingis, see how French Frank is going to work out. But the expectation was relatively low. Meanwhile, the Thunder expectation is that they're somehow going to be battling the Golden State Warriors potentially in in the Western Conference Finals or maybe in the finals. I would like to think that Western Conference Finals only. <laughs> I would like to think that because Porzingis is playing so well, that even if Melo was still on this Knicks team, that he and the organization would realize, all right, we have the special guy. He is the guy now, and Melo's going to have to adjust take on a different role because the way that Porzingis is playing, I mean, really, nobody can touch him right now. Well, Porzingis was always complimentary of the role that Carmelo played as a bit of a mentor. But you talk about the, the construction of the roster a year ago. You had him sharing the court with Rose and with Melo. There simply weren't going to be enough touches for him to get to the level he's at right now. Because he's getting all those touches, his confidence can go up. Meanwhile, in Oklahoma City, you're dealing with three guys who are used to getting those sort of touches. Russell Westbrook basically monopolized the offense a year ago, and now he's learning to deal with having Paul George and Carmelo Anthony on his team. That's another aspect of this talk.